In this training video, we'll focus on using the Smart Fade in Two Scene Mode. Two Scene Mode is a very simple operational mode that uses a fairly traditional form of console operation where we use the top row of faders on the Smart Fade as one scene, the bottom row as another scene, we set up lighting cues in each of those scenes, and we crossfade between them. That's what two scene mode really is. So now that I'm in two scene mode, my console has a total capacity of 12 channels. The 12 channels on the top row and the 12 channels on the bottom row are the same 12 channels. The crossfaders, depending on the position of them, will have either the bottom row of faders active or the top row of faders active. I'll show you what I mean. Right now, the crossfaders are in the down position. So when I bring this up, it'll bring up channel 1, channel 2. And now if I set channel 3 and 4 on the top row to some different levels, I can crossfade from the bottom to the top. Now I've set a default time of 5 seconds, but for right now, I'm going to take that to 0 seconds and make this a manual crossfade. So now I'm manually crossfading to the top scene. Having now faded to the top preset, where it's active, I will reset the levels on the bottom preset to be ready for the next scene. So if these are the lights for my next scene, I'll get them ready. And then again, I will simply fade manually in time back to the bottom scene. I'll set up the top scene for my next lighting cue. And this time I will fade using time, and it's really simple. All I need to do is set the time that I want to use. We'll say two and a half seconds on the, on the, uh, using the encoder. And then I will move both crossfaders to the top in any time, and they will automatically fade in two and a half seconds. So in the two examples that I've shown you, using time and not using time, I've been moving the two crossfaders together, but I can also do what's known as a lead and lag or a split fade. You'll notice that the crossfaders are labeled 0 to 10 on the left side and 10 to 0 on the right side. That allows me to take the lower preset and move it in a little bit, and then take the other preset out, and then at some point join them both together and finish up, or I can finish them up separately. Basically that puts the operator in charge of the new lighting coming in and the old lighting going out. I can also do a split fade using timing. In this situation what I'll do is start the new preset in first, moving that up to the top. You'll see it's fading in on time, and then when the moment's right, I'll start moving the old preset out and it will fade out in the time that I've set in the encoder as well. While you're operating in two scene mode, none of the other functions of the Smart Fade are available. There's no recording. Uh, none of the other buttons will be active, and that's why you see that none of them are lit here in the software. Uh, it's also important to know that in this example, I've been using a one-to-one -one patch where the light outputs number 1 through 12 were patched directly to channels 1 through 12 on the console. Um, it is possible to do patching um, in a two-scene setup. However, you'll have to boot the console into normal mode first, complete the patch, and then boot back into the two-scene mode. That's how it's accomplished. And there is a, a video later in the series on patching. If you need to do patching, you can watch that video. And that pretty much covers two-scene mode using the Smart Fade.